Uh, my name is uh, Mustafa Nurdin Isa. I'm working as a feed program director for the USAID Feed the Future Tanzania Land Tenure Assistance Program implemented by DAI Tanzania. And uh, uh, the Land Tenure Assistance activities, of course, is seek to uh, clarify and document land ownership. Uh, we are also supporting land use planning effort. And uh, we have extensive training to increase a local understanding of the uh, land use and also land rights to the uh, residents uh, within the village we are working. And uh, it is anticipated that uh, the intervention will reduce land tenure related risk and lay the ground for the sustainable, uh, sustainable agriculture investment for both smallholders and commercial investors. So, uh, but also uh, local sustainability is a critical component of our activities and because the goal of these activities to empower district and village land institution in the district targeted in which uh, LTA uh, is scaling forward. And also we, we have, uh, want to manage uh, to build the capacity for the land administration process so that uh, uh, the district we are working, they can also proceed with these activities in, independently without uh, any support from LTA when we conclude. Uh, in Tanzania, 70% of the land is village land, which is rural areas. 28% uh, is reserved land, this including forestry, uh, water bodies, uh, road reserves, etc. And 2% is urban land. So uh, the village land covers the largest portion of which uh, less than 10% is registered, that is mapped and issued with titles. So some of the main uh, reasons for such small percentage of the registered land in rural area is high cost of registration, uh, corruption, and also poor land administration system, which are, are not transparent. So uh, uh, taking part in, in, in implementing the USAID Feed the Future mobile uh, uh, application to secure tenure must in 2015 to 2016, which was only focusing on uh, design of mobile application and tested, and also uh, taking part in USAID Tanzania Land Tenure Assistance uh, program from uh, 2016 to date uh, in implementing and developing of innovative technologies for first registration of the village land using mobile application mask in mapping land parcels and uh, and also uh, developing a web-based design uh, which is uh, managing post-registration transaction using technical register and social uh, and a secure tenure trust. So it has been proved that simple uh, cost-effective technologies of increased transparency in the governance system and also reduce the cost of uh, producing CCROs, those are certificate of title, and also have managed to streamline the process for insurance of CCRO at the scale. So uh, uh, USAID LTA program, uh, we have managed to develop uh, uh, the mobile application, which is must, and also we have managed to develop uh, the model of the land registration that uh, is enabled demarcation in the education of over 70,000 land parcels. And we have managed to reach to date over 60,000 uh, land titles in 41 villages in which we are working. Uh, but also the ownership uh, in terms of gender between uh, women and men, we're having approximately 49.5% uh, and 50.5% uh, uh, respectively. So this is a ownership between men and women. Uh, and of, this is uh, uh, due to extensive uh, sensitization and training on land rights to the uh, residents, uh, village leaders, which are the main uh, uh, component governing the land in the village you are working, youth and marginalized groups such as uh, pastoral, pastoralists and women. And most importantly, their participation uh, in the working of the Indian registration process has, has made uh, for a higher level of, of transparency. So, the model has brought the cost uh, down to below uh, $10 against the previous cost, which was a bit, bit expensive. The cost of registration of the land before uh, mass was uh, in order of uh, $100 per CCRO. So using simple technologies such as smartphones uh, with simple uh, mobile applications such as mass, open source software and good procedures is now paved the way for a large scale low cost registration of land in Tanzania. Uh, 
In, in, in our case, uh, as the LTA program uh, is not the technology per se benefited the marginalized community, but the procedure set up to implement the technology. So the participation in meeting by women, uh, youth has been strong. In the instance where there is a special group such as pastoralist community, they've been fully involved in the process, particularly in the uh, in land use planning process. So to ensure adequate grazing area and also opportunity for communal uh, certificate to be issued. So uh, LTA is reinforced the messages for women, uh, youth empowerment to engage in the program as surveyors, uh, adjudicators, and also to participate as a member for various committee associated with the land session in the village. So uh, out of 50,000 people trained, 54% of all participants were women, and 43% were youth. So LTA is impacting on radio, a social and printed media campaign to encourage women to put themselves forward for the upcoming five-year term uh, village council election in September. But also, as we mentioned earlier, we have achieved almost 50, 50 gender equity uh, in the ownership of land between women and men.